Weather in Texas comes with a deadline. You have to enjoy it right now. It's like 70 degrees today, it's beautiful, but once the heat hits, it's over. You don't wanna even be outside until like October. So now is the time to enjoy it. I do realize that I am tempting the rain once again by taking that top down, but it's just so nice out here. You gotta do something. Have you done your photo assignment for this week? Last week, I was having a conversation with my buddy Peter McKinnon. Some of you guys might know Peter. He's got a wonderful YouTube channel. He's a really nice guy. We were having a conversation about perfection in the arts. And is perfection something that actually even exists? Because at some point, I mean, you can keep massaging something over and over and over again, but at some point you have to turn work in or you have to put something out. And maybe perfection is a myth that we tend to chase. Anyway, he did a really nice video on that and gave me a nice shout out. So I will link that up, video up at the end of this one. But speaking of perfection and speaking of turning things in, let's talk about photo assignments. So right now we are on photo assignment number six, I believe, which is photo sequences. And this is where we are using a sequence of images to communicate an idea or tell some kind of story. And so the last video that I talked about these was a couple weeks ago, and I had told you guys that I was gonna give you the rest of the month to work on these. And there were two reasons that I did that. First of all, this one was a little bit more difficult than previous assignments have been. And so it requires putting some thought into, and so I wanted to give people ample time to do that. It was the first reason. The second reason is, is I have a lot of people who shoot film that watch these videos and I've had many complaints that they just simply move too fast to get film processed and scanned and all that stuff so I'd like to make them not quite this long in the future so we're going to go back to a little bit tighter format because I don't want to lose momentum I, I really like photo assignments I think they're inspiring to people and I want to give you guys a chance to show your work on the show as well and so we'll get back into a groove on that so I'll be putting together the the video with all the images of people who participated in photo sequences and I'll be doing that next Monday. So get your stuff in this week. And I'll talk a little bit about that if you're not sure how to turn it in and all. But anyway, I um, I want to share a couple with you that have been turned in so far. And this isn't by any means the final video of this. I just want to share some things that I think you'll find inspiring that'll hopefully charge you up a little bit in getting into this. And so first of all, I want to talk about uh, this, this sequence. And this is from Duncan Davies, who a long time viewer. I've known Duncan for a while and I really like this. It just basically tells a very simple story. He used two quote unquote actors, I guess you could say, in here, and you see literally an idea and a story being told with this park bench, and the woman leaves her purse, and the hoodlum does the nice thing and returns it, so very nicely done. Another one that I think is really cool, this is from Cassia Colmas, I think is how you say your name, and this is kind of just more, less set up, and it's not acted out necessarily, but it's just kind of more of a kind of a vlog approach into just showing life. And this is a hotel room, the last morning of vacation is what was titled. And I think it's really, really nicely done. Another couple that I think are really nice as well. And this is from MKC8B. Um, and it's hands cooking and it, it communicates something and tells a story as well. It's, it's more simple. And so I've explained these as being very conceptual as we started, but I've had a wide range of interpretations on this idea that some of them aren't as conceptual. And another one that fits into that is this one, which I really like with the elevators. It's just one view and you see different things happening within that view or that stage. And this is from Kok Chai Khoi. And this is really nicely done. And note that on a lot of these, things are kept very simple. And remember, when you're dealing with four, six, or more images to tell a story, or maybe even it's just three images, that's still a lot of information. So sometimes when these are kept simple, I think they really work well, and that's when they're most effective. And so in this one, it's the same scene in each frame. In fact, a lot of these have been that I'm showing you today. And so you're seeing things that change within the frame, and it just makes it more cohesive and easier to look at. So I think this is definitely one of those cases where I think less is more. And and I think you're going to have more successful results when they are kept very simple. This last image is from David Witt. And I love this because this is definitely more on the esoteric side of things, but it's it's very funny and, and very brilliant. This is Talent Borrow's Genius Steals self-portrait as a pickle. And so this one is delightfully bizarre. I absolutely love it. And this strange sequence of a pickle being stood up with a screw and a desk or something. Anyway, it's, it's brilliant. And I love the fact that this one is also done 
and mount it on board. So it just gives it a little more tactile vibe to it, especially since you're showing these online ultimately. And so I, I think it's really nicely done. So I wanted to share just a few with you that have been turning so far that I really have just caught my eye in the last couple days. And I think you guys are doing some amazing work. So if you haven't turned your stuff in yet and you want to do it, do it this week, try and do it before Friday. There's a couple ways you can do it. If you're new and you don't know what photo assignments are, I'll refer you to a playlist up here and you can go back and check out the whole thing and see what the idea behind it is and all that stuff. Basically, photo assignments are a weekly challenge. They are a way of us to take a theme or an assignment and interpret that over the course of a week or two. And what I do is I pick some of the best work and I just share it with you guys on the show. And it's important because I think they these are designed to challenge our creative thinking and what we do as photographers. And if you want to share your work, what you're going to do is you're going to do it on social media and we use a hashtag for that and there's a couple different ways you can do that and and I'm gonna mention this right now because of the nature of the photo sequences these get kind of involved and I hate to say this but I would actually discourage using Instagram this time around if you've already done it I'll find your stuff there but the problem I have with Instagram is when I'm putting together the vid the the final video to show you guys the work that's been submitted Instagram is hard to work with because the images are kind of at a fixed size they're really small and so I shoot all this in 4k because I want to show the details and everything even at 1080, it's kind of a stretch. And I think it definitely is a stretch for this assignment because this is not really geared towards something like Instagram. It's just a lot of stuff in one image. And so I think it would be easier to use Twitter or Facebook in this case. And so if you want to use Twitter, like I said, I'll look at Instagram and I'll use it, but I would recommend because of the image resolution that we do with something else. Um, anyway, Twitter, you're going to use a uh, the, sorry, you're going to use a hashtag. That hashtag is photo assignments. And I go look through all those and that's where I find your work. And so share it on Twitter that way. And then you can do the same thing on Facebook. You can use the hashtag or better yet, if you go over to the Art of Photography page on Facebook, so it's facebook.com slash the art of photography. And you'll see I've already put a thread in there where you can submit your work directly into that. And I put a little video just reminding you, submit your stuff. This is the week. So anyway, so there you have it. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for photo assignments this week. And until the next video, dance like nobody's watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to the art of photography for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, later.